Hey there, hello there, welcome to section 10.2, quadratic function in intercept form. Now what is intercept form? Intercept form is y equals a times a quantity x minus p times a quantity x minus q. Now this form should look familiar right here. What is this form? This form is what we had in chapter 9 where we factored quadratic equations. Now, what are characteristics of this kind of graph? Well, first things first, the x-intercept are a positive p and a positive q, right? The x-intercepts, positive p and positive q. Next, the axis of symmetry is halfway in between p and q. So we add them together, divide by 2 to find our axis of symmetry. And the last guy, the parabola still opens up if this a is greater than 0, so 1. And opens down if this a is less than 0. So let's try a problem with this. Here we have y equals a negative x minus 5 times the quantity x plus 1. So first thing that we have to do, what is our x values, what are our roots here? So if we have x is a negative p and x is a negative 5, that I know that this p or this x value right here is 5. So 1x equals a positive 5. And now the other x, notice here though that this is a x plus 1. And in order to get a plus here, this has to be a negative, so x also has to be a negative 1. So first thing we do now is go ahead and plot these. x is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and negative 1. So from the origin, we go to the left, negative 1. Next, we have to find the axis of symmetry. How do we do that? We add these two guys up, so we add 5 plus a negative 1, divide that by 2, and that's going to give us 4 over 2, which simplifies to 2. So now we can draw our axis of symmetry at 2. So I'm going to put my axis of symmetry right there at 2. Now we can find our vertex by plugging this 2 in for my x values for my equation. So I have a negative 2 minus 5 times 2 plus 1. We simplify this guy to be a negative times a negative 3 times 3. So now two negatives make a positive 3 times 3, which is 9. So now our vertex is 2, 9. Our vertex again is 2, 9. So now we can go ahead and plot our vertex. We go over 2, so 1, 2, which is the axis of symmetry. And then we go up 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Put our point. Now notice that we have one point here, another point here, and another point there. So now we can connect our dots and to the best of your ability, try to draw a parabola, which is a U-shaped graph, through the dots that we have on our graph. And your graph will look, look much better than mine because you passed art class. Next, number two, let's try to graph one more. Well, if we look at the graph y equals 2x squared minus 8, it doesn't look like our intercept form. We have to get it to this form. Well, in chapter 9, we learned how to get it there. Well, how did we get it there? We had to factor. So we have to factor 2x squared minus 8. So now first we have to take out a common number variable that goes into both 2 and 8. Well, I know that common number is going to be 2. And so we're going to be left with an x squared minus 4. Now, we have to break this guy down even further. So we have 2 times x plus 2 and x 
minus 2 because plus 2 and a minus 2 multiply to be a negative 4 but add up to be a 0 which isn't shown. Now this guy looks exactly like this guy up here. So now we have a x to be a negative 2 from this guy and a positive 2 from this guy. So let's go ahead and put those on the graph. We go over negative 2, put a point. Then we go over to positive 2 and put a point. Now we have to find our axis of symmetry by adding our two guys here together. So it's going to be negative 2 plus 2. Divide that by 2, and that's going to give us 0 over 2, which is 0. Now I know that my axis of symmetry is 0, so I'm going to go ahead and plot my axis of symmetry right at 0. Now, to find my vertex, I have to plug this 0 into, an, into the x of my original equation. So I'm going to plug this 0 in for that x right there. So I'm going to have 2 times 0 squared minus 8. And so this is 0 minus 8, which is a negative 8. So now my vertex is 0 negative 8, and I'm going to plot this point, so it's 0, so we're right on the axis of symmetry still, and we just have to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and put my point. Notice, again, we have three dots, so again, we can go ahead and draw our parabola as neatly as we can, and again, we come up with a U-shaped graph that goes through the x-axis. I want to point out something here real quick. We could have plugged our axis of symmetry, this 0, either in for this x or these two x's. We would still come up with negative 8. So now, the steps to graph the intercept form of y equals a times the quantity x minus p times the quantity x minus q. First, you factor if necessary. Second, we have to identify and plot the x-intercepts. Next, we draw the axis of symmetry, which is x equals p plus q, and divide that by 2. Next, we find and plot the vertex by plugging in the x value. So you plug in step 3 into your original equation, and then finally, our last and final step, and everybody's favorite step, is to draw the parabola through the vertex connecting the three dots that you have on the graph. And that does it for the extension of 10.2.